What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Dokkan Battle. Now, it's been a couple days since we've talked about it, and I'll be honest, the main reason that I'm so late on this particular topic is because I have been chasing the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Real talk. Um, that may or may not have worked itself out. I guess you'll just have to stay tuned to find out. Uh, hopefully we'll have that out shortly, but... Since that's taken care of, we'll say, spoiler alert, uh, I want to talk about Turles. I would really love to pull Turles. Now, I was going to completely, like, not even worry about him. I went all in for Super Saiyan 4. It's one of my favorite units in the game. Uh, and, well, just in general, like, one of my favorite transformations, honestly, period. So, for me, which I know I dog on GT all the time, but I think it's just a really good-looking transformation. A really unique so, not a nor there. Turles, on the other hand, is just evil Goku. And at the end of the day, as good as Turles is, it's a collection game. I made my decisions. I'm not ashamed of them at all. But, let's talk about this and let's see what we can do about maybe pulling Turles. Because, we got this pack right here. Oh no, it's sold out. What happened? So, this pack right here is... A questionable value and I'll explain why so you get one legendary summon ticket which grants you 20 units it's not the best not the worst um, potential orbs some other stuff here some aged meat not really like the best value for the money I'll be honest uh, it's 35 bucks and it only guarantees you 20 units that's uh, that's it like you would really expect for that for that level of money, either either the ticket would be twenty bucks, or maybe if the ticket guaranteed thirty units. The only kind of saving grace in this, if we go in here, all right, it says up here somewhere at the top. Uh, in addition to the universal story pack that contains a legendary summon ticket, legendary summon ticket, words. Using the legendary summon ticket uh, to perform multi summon on the legendary summon ticket will grant you twenty characters. Three of them guaranteed to be SSRs. So, kind of the way I'm looking at this. And let me explain. While those three units are guaranteed to be SSRs, not one of them is guaranteed to be an LR, not one of them is guaranteed to be anything good. Banner itself is largely full of a lot of crap. Even some of the LRs these days are kind of... Eh. Um, we will talk about Super Saiyan... Er, we will talk about Goku and Vegeta... Or Goku and Frieza's EZA later on. I know they just got their information. I'm still gathering my thoughts on that. I'm kind of two realms of that one so we'll talk about that in a little bit but this really only guarantees two ssrs and realistically if you pay for a multi you're only guaranteed to get an ssr anyway so anything we get above and beyond those those three ssrs is kind of gravy now that said maybe at that point thirty dollars would be a reasonable price 35 seems really really expensive part of the reason why i held off so long on doing this um but i may or may not have resolved my other issue that information is coming here shortly so i want to talk about turles because i was going to skip this all together and i'm definitely not going to go crazy on the banner i'm going to just do the ticket and that's it um but let's just go ahead and give it come on a try here now i've got all the stuff in here so let's go ahead and collect everything up that's going to give us a bunch of stuff and that legendary summon ticket. Let's face it, that legendary summon ticket is kind of our number one thing. So let's not waste any more time. Let's burn this beast and see if it was worth our while. And spoiler alert, I really hope it is. That's fairly... that could be good. Not going to get a Super Saiyan Blue transformation, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Um, Super Saiyan 3, it's going to be Super Saiyan God either way, there's no way it wouldn't be Super Saiyan God. Um, so let's see if this was worth it. Let's see if this was worth it. I really just don't know, honestly, what the answer to this is going to be. So, we're kicking it off with an Archaotsu and an SR Goku. So immediately it's like, meh, I mean, but to be fair, we're a tenth of the way in. Okay, there's our first SSR, Demon King Piccolo. Could be better, could be worse. Okay, okay. Second SSR in a row, and it's that new Deborah. So that's actually pretty hype. I will take that. That I am not mad about by any stretch. 
So we're now, what, uh, that f five units in, two SSRs. So our odds actually look pretty good now. Our, we look like, looks like this might actually pan out to be something decent. Okay, third SSR. We know that now it's a quad SSR multi, so that's not so bad. Though he's kind of not that crazy hype. Um, and to be honest, I'm going to consider if we pull one of the better LRs, uh, I'm just going to consider it an instantaneous win. SR Deborah, which would be good for that Deborah's uh, essay. We're expecting a no less than one more SSR, though I wouldn't be mad if we had more SSRs. I don't think anyone would be mad, to be honest with you. But let's just see here. Is that the... That's the SR Thouser. Boo! More SSRs! More SSRs game! Come on! I know I was talking. I wouldn't be mad if that was the LR Nappa. Because I actually lack that unit. But... Apparently, no. SR Majin Buu. Um, now, to be fair, I think we did get a featured unit. I didn't talk about what units were featured on here. I'll go back and talk about that here in a minute. Um, I probably should have done that at the beginning, but I was kind of too excited to go in here and do this. And... And that's it, isn't it? No! No, there's more. Bra pan. Man, we're still going! How many SSRs is that? And that's that. So no LR turtles. But we got two, three, six. Six SSRs. And only one of them is actually pretty respectable. Uh, so, was it worth? Well, let's see. So, guaranteed, or see, featured on this banner is, and remember, there's no guaranteed feature to it, so we got pretty lucky on that one, at least. Uh, obviously, the new Turles, that old Turles, that newer Raditz, uh, Physical Goku, Physical Goku, uh, AGL Frieza, I think, SDR Frieza, hmm, there he is. I figured, I thought Debora was going to be uh, featured on here. So, really, there's not a, not a much change Compared to what we do. Oh, and he's featured too. I forgot about that. So there's not really much of a change from the JP uh, banner, I don't believe, uh, if I recollect. We talked about it a couple days beforehand. So, is it worth? Hang on, two featured units? I don't know. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Do you think it was worthwhile? I'm I'm in heavy debate, but then again, I kind of want that Turles. But again, I'm not going to go crazy for him. At this point, I'm done with the banner. Um, I'm going to walk away with my head held high and uh, keep an eye out for the uh, Gogeta summons. Spoiler alert. Coming up shortly. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, we'll talk about Goku and Frieza here coming up soon. I got more Do Dokkan Battle coming up for you guys. I know it's been a few days since we talked about it. It's just... Be patient. I've had a lot going on this last week and change. So we'll be back talking about more Dokkan Battle here really soon. And I've got a roadmap for Global heading into the anniversary because we've got a lot to talk about when it comes to that. And there's some things you're probably not thinking about. So keep an ear out for that. Also coming at you here really, really soon. I'll talk to you guys shortly.